Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I have not been on here in a while and that's because um, we're still kind of adjusting to our move and we had just started back up with school not too long ago. And so today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about our whole entire like math journey from beginning until now. So Christopher started off and I did write some notes just so I don't kind of like trail off. But um, Christopher, uh, when we first started off with math with him, we did easy peasy, which if you've never used easy peasy, one, it, it's a really cool curriculum. It's free, which is nice if you're just starting out and you're not sure what to do. Um, easy peasy was great. Um, so we did that for a while and I started noticing that his math skills were a little advanced. Um, we we did uh, easy peasy for our, like the first two years and it was just so, it was just so easy for him. So I started researching a little bit of, a little more complicated math for him, or not really complicated, but something that's gonna be a little more challenging. So I heard really good things about Abeka and um, Abeka's homeschool is kind of pricey which if you're, if you're going from easy peasy, which is free to a Becca, it's, it's just way more money. Um, but we made the jump and went ahead and just did it. And he did great with a Becca. We did that for two years. So he did a Becca, um, grade three and he did really good with it. Um, but then I felt like, okay, this isn't, I don't know, we'll try the next year and do a Becca four. Cause I wanted something that's still a little more challenging. He pretty much breezed through a Becca three. We did a Becca four and I was like, okay, great. It's a little more challenging for him, but he's not struggling and he did really well. And then bam, in the middle of the curriculum, I don't know what happened, but it went so much faster. And that's when I really saw how fast a Becca is going to be. And it was, he started getting frustrated and I'm like, you know, he, I thought, you know, he's very advanced in math and for him to be like frustrated with it, um, I just didn't want to see that because I'm like, you're already like, I had bumped him up already a grade level ahead because the other math levels were just too easy for him. And so to see him struggle with that just made me feel so bad. And so I thought, oh, and also a side note, I do not like Abeka's um, teacher guides. They are, I don't even know the word. I just really don't like them. They're not, um, and if you've used a Becca before and you've switched because you don't like it, you know what I'm talking about. They just don't really explain how to do any of it. It's just, it's almost like just like an answer key. And for those higher levels, it's like, I need something that's gonna like walk me through it a little bit better. And I just wasn't a fan of it. Um, so we went from easy peasy to a Becca and I'm at this point, I'm like, what am I going to do? And so I did so much research and we switched last year to uh, BJU press and excellent choice. Well, we switched this technically we're in 2024, but you get the idea. 2023, we switched to, um, BJU press and I hundred percent think it was the best decision for him. The teacher guides are so much better, um, than a Becca's and, price point it's very similar i would say to a becca um it might be i don't even remember the price point on that off the top of my head but it's very similar to the price of a becca probably a little cheaper if i had to guess um but it's it's still pricey for curriculum so his math six comes with two teacher guides and his workbook now the difference between math five that we did last year and math six for bju is that math five he was able to actually do his work in the book um, they leave that space for him to do that but when you get to math six it's a little bit different you have to have your child have another just like spiral notebook they have to write all the like they have to write lessons and, you know 25 and all the problems in there another thing that I do that has been a big help is and I started this with a Becca because after a while a Becca's curriculum gets very um it's just a lot it's it's you know you have two pages of work which is doesn't seem like a lot but there's so many problems on each page and I did this in math four and then um when we switched to BJU for math five, I did the same thing, which is I had him do all of the odd numbers on the page. And then if he struggled with the concept, we would go back the very next day and he would do all the even numbers. And I've only had to do that um, where he's had to go back and do the even numbers, probably like four different lessons, um, or like basically four different math concepts. And that has helped. And it doesn't make it seem like we're doing math all day long. He still has tests and quizzes that I do have him do. And the difference between that and Abeka's was Abeka had testing quizzes, but Abeka also had like their activity book, which was just 
so many extra exercises and for me i'm very like ocd and i'm like we have to do it all like per lesson to feel like we finished the lesson and i really had to drop that whole concept when he started getting higher up in math because i'm like he's not and i talked to a friend of mine who's a teacher and she was very helpful on his whole math journey with me that i'm like he's so advanced in math and i need but I don't want to, because he's a grade level ahead, but I don't want him to feel like we have to do every single thing on the page to have the lesson done. If he understands the concept, we get it and we move on to the next one. Per lesson, he just does the odd numbers and that's worked really well and I've done that for two years. So I really recommend doing that. Um, maybe some moms will disagree with me, but I, that's just worked for my kid. Might not work for yours, but it works for Christopher. Now, the girls do the good and the beautiful. They do that now but when we first started off they were using horizons math which i did like when we first got it it's very affordable very cheap um colorful but it and it's spiral math which i love spiral math and if you don't know what spiral math is it's basically they teach you a con they teach the child a concept and then they teach them some other things and then it spirals back to that first concept and they do that throughout because they think um, I guess studies show that it like it helps your child retain the information better and I really like that concept when I first did it with the kids I was like, I don't I don't know if I really like that, but it's it actually does work So I like the concept of that um, when we did horizons they have spiral math the only thing is I used that for two years each for the girls and they were just very ugh, I don't know that the last the last year we used it they were over it they were like it's so much work and there were so many problems per page and it was boring at that second year mark very repetitive they were over it so um in pro oh, so i should say prior to that they did do easy peasy um and then we went to horizons and then i decided after a lot of research that the good and the beautiful's math simply good and the beautiful math they like revised it and i had never done their math before i've used their curriculum before never done their math so i went out on a limb last year and i got their math and it's so good guys the reason christopher does not use that math is because christopher's like brain is like he's just a numbers guy he doesn't really care for the fluff of the other stuff he just because i've had him look at the girl's math and he's just like so uninterested in it he just like wants the problem like straight what's the problem here's the answer that's how it is with him so that's why we picked a different math but if he liked the good and the beautiful math we'd be using that probably for him as well but it's very colorful um there's games that they get to play and there's different sections per lesson um like on the page they typically have um three to three to four pages that they have to do per lesson um i guess it kind of depends if you're counting front and back page but um when they get to math four there are video lessons so you get to take your take your phone and just um scan the barcode thing on it or the it's not a barcode but you know what i'm talking about you scan that and then they get to watch like a little mini lesson you can totally opt out and not do that i like it Addie likes it. Um, it's typically anywhere from like maybe five to 10 minutes long, not very long. It kind of lets them know what the lesson's gonna be about. They work through two problems with their teacher and then, um, or with the Good and the Beautiful's teacher that they have. And then they move into the lesson where then I, I'll talk to her about problems and then teach her with that. Um, or you could just bypass the video lesson and you can read the whole script that they have for you to the child and teach the mini lesson before they enter into the whole lesson. Um, Haley's is math three and they don't have video lessons in that one. So it does start in uh, grade four. Um, but yeah, we really like it. It's very colorful and that was such a good decision. And I wish I had started that sooner. Um, so I think a lot of times when you start with any curriculum, it's you're just starting off and you're like you don't really know what you're doing and sampling a lot of other curriculum does sound like oh i'm jumping around a lot but i'm really trying to find the not like there's like this amazing curriculum out there that's going to work forever but to find a curriculum that is going to benefit them in that year or the next few years and i know the good and the beautiful right now they just released math seven and i don't know i think I think I've heard that they only are going to go up to math eight. So cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> um, but for high school math, I am homeschooling through high school. So that will be 
like another video way, way, way into the future because right now I have all upper elementary. Christopher's math next year will be math six. Um, and I'll talk all about that in another video when I talk about my, um, like my mid-year, um, how's everything going and what our plans are gonna be for next year will be also another video. So I am excited for all that. There are some exciting changes that I'm making to some of the curriculum this, this coming school year, which I will let you guys all know. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Math, my whole math journey has been a little long. Um, I'm sure there's other parents who've maybe, they knew right from the get go what they were gonna do. And I definitely, I had to, you know, you have to listen also to to your child and if they're struggling with it or if it's way too easy for them, then there is not a problem with switching it. Like just because you pick something that year or even like I've known parents to have picked something and then mid-year they completely change it. And while that sounds terrifying to me, <laughs> I, who knows, maybe that'll happen to me and I'll have to do that. Sometimes you gotta make the call and just totally change it if it's not working. Don't feel like you have to be stuck to a curriculum just because you purchased it. Um, which is then I'm gonna talk about that in another video, um, which is my mid-year um, like kind of update. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much if you've stuck around and watched this entire video. And um, also I am uh, an affiliate to two different um, curriculums that just happened this week. So it's like super exciting. I'm kind of geeking out over that, but um, I will leave those in um, the description and um, there's two different links for you guys to click on. One of them, you also get a discount code, which is pretty cool. And I'll talk about that in another video when I get that curriculum and I will be doing an entire flip through of it for you guys. So thank you again for watching and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.